Is Fernie real estate market heating up or cooling down? February's numbers are in. Also, find out about how the Bank of Canada's latest move will affect you. Phil Gadd from First Tracks Real Estate Group, diving into February 2024 Fernie market update and decoding what the Bank of Canada's latest interest rate announcement means for the Fernie market. March 2024 that means it's time for one thing and that is my market summary for February 2024. Uh, before we get into that though the Bank of Canada uh, has made a rate announcement today. The Bank of Canada maintained its key overnight interest rate at 5% for the fifth consecutive meeting citing they need to allow higher rates more time to address inflation concerns. Uh, the Bank of Canada kept interest rates at 5% for the fifth meeting in a row, just as I uh, mentioned. Governor Macklem emphasized the importance of maintaining current rates to combat inflation. Economic growth remained weak and inflation hovered around 3%. The bank anticipates its first move to adjust rates in June. So there we go. That's the key thing, I think. Rates coming down in June. Policymakers are focused on monitoring inflation before considering rate cuts. So, a couple of things there to, uh, a couple of important things to take into consideration. They're basically saying rates are going to come down in June, but they're going to have to monitor inflation. I'm sure they don't want it to creep up above 3%. It's hovering around 3 right now. Because the next rate announcement is April 10th. So we shall see how the Bank of Canada reacts next month. So getting into my market report for February 2024 in Fernie, um, we had 16 new listings. That's down 11% on this time last year. Uh, sold listings, we had six sold listings in February 2024. Uh, that's down 40% on uh, 2023. Uh, average house prices uh, are up. From last year, the average list price is 673816 That's up 18%. And the sale price is up 2% on this time last year to 628833 And days on market. So we're down slightly on the sale to list ratio at 4%. That's 93%. So when houses get listed, Currently, they're selling on an average of 93% of their current list price. Days on market uh, is up slightly 7% on this time last year to 105 days. Monthly supply of inventory is at 4.67, indicating that, well, we are in a buyer's market. So that's up 29% on this time last year. Active inventory is down slightly to 49%. Uh, that's 2% down on this time last year. So, as always, we're going to look at the average selling price from 2014 all the way up to this year. So, a decade of uh, the average house price in Fernie. As you can see, way back in 2014, we were down at 344530 That ticked along pretty nicely until we got to around the year 2018, 2019. And then we did see steadily increases in the house price. By 2021, we were up to 547, 440. Huge jump all the way to 2023, where the average house price in Fernie rose to 732,769. But as you can see, quite interestingly, in the first two months of 2024, the average house price in Fernie is only... 616,369. You know, lots of factors go into that. We potentially have not seen a huge amount of uh, high ticket sales happen in, uh, in the year so far. But if we look at this graph, you know, we can see since 2021, the average house price uh, grew by 13% from 2021 to 2022, 14% from 22 to 23. And then interestingly, from 23 to 24, we are currently down 19%. For buyers, 
it's a great indication that's potentially opportunity in the market. And for sellers, you just really need to make sure that when you list your property, you are at a fair market value. That way you can ensure a quick sale of your property. As always, uh, Phil Gadd, First Tracks Real Estate Group. You can get hold of me, 778-745-0347. Love to help with any questions you may have about the Fernie market, interest rates, uh, mortgages, anything to do with the Fernie real estate market, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text or shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to help. So until next time, where we'll probably do this closer to the 10th of April to coincide with the next Bank of Canada interest rate announcement. And we'll wait with bated breath to see what the Bank of Canada is going to do next month.